Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina kareem wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba' The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said Ida raha minkum munkarin fil yugayiruhu bi yad fi in lam yastati' fi bilisani fi in lam yastati' fi biqalbihi wa thalika adaf al-iman ruahu muslim the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in the hadith that was narrated in Sahih Muslim uh, related by or narrated by uh, Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu who said whoever sees a good from uh, whoever sees a munkar disobedience to Allah then change it with his hand and if he is unable to do so then with his tongue and if he is unable to do so then with his heart and that's the weakest form of faith in that hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it shows us the maratib of iman. It shows us the level of iman, the level of faith. And that faith is comprised of actions on the limbs. It is comprised of statements on the tongue. And it is comprised of actions of the heart. That's iman. That's faith. And it shows us that we can command the good and forbid the evil based upon those different levels. It also shows us that the highest level is changing it physically, changing the evil physically. And that the lowest level of it is hating it in your heart. Also another thing that the scholars deduce from this is that it also gives us, it also illustrates for us that this this principle mabni ala maslaha wa mafsada that it depends upon the harms and the benefit of changing the munkar for example if a person is going to incur a greater harm by trying to change something evil then they should leave it because they've taken the, the less of the two evils those are sharia principles so for example if you see someone they're drinking alcohol and we know that alcohol is haram forbidden in Islam and you want to change that evil but you don't have the ability to do so meaning that they have uh, the person is very strong it's going to incur physical confrontation then you leave it because a physical confrontation could lead to bloodshed and it could lead to a greater harm than just the original munkar of drinking alcohol or for example you see someone being disobedient or cursing cursing uh, other people and you don't have the strength to be able to change it or even speak about it speak out against it for whatever reason you're fearful of uh, whatever the situation and it's going to cause a greater harm not just out of fear but when we say mabni ala masla wa mafsada, the harms and the benefit, it has to do with how it's going to, uh, you know, what sharia, what's permissible in the sharia as a harm and a benefit. So if there's going to incur a greater harm by this, then we leave it. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with a class with habat ala sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.